So Absolutely. you really need that balance. Businessmen, as an example, will want to know how to do better. Mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. uh, and some people that are working for somebody as a boss, an example, they may want to know how to make sure that they're really needed on their job, how to do really well in their job. So in this time of transition, of global transition, oh, yeah. they don't lose their job. You're yeah. really actually coaching someone. You're using your spiritual psychic gifts and you're really basically helping someone in every area of their life. Yes. How about someone that's a slob in their house is always a mess? <laughs> I'm just thinking of, mm -hmm. of things that people ha that have come to me. Uh, I do, uh, I have stu many students and, you know, to bring out their spiritual gifts. But I'm kind of like a, um, a full service salon. I help <laughs> them with everything. So mm -hmm. I don't call myself a spiritual life coach, but I guess I could be too. Mm -hmm. um, how would you help them with, you know, cleaning up their, their act? Well, one of the things you really need to look at is what caused it in the first place, which sounds easy, but as you know, it really isn't. No. Because most people aren't aware of what's causing it. They just no. look at it as well. They grew up with it um, in their home where they didn't have to clean up their room when they were kids, as an example, and they got into the habit. But there's right. always an underlying force. Well, I actually had a woman that she couldn't mm -hmm. even get into her house ah. because it was <laughs> such a mess. So I actually, I, very I actually had to go physically there. Mm -hmm. I helped, her, you know, I taught her about this, the, the lights. Do you use the lights in your work? Yes. You use Depending the on the light situation, of, love, of course, yes. The yellow lights. The yeah, because very all light powerful. has vibration and color. Oh, it's very powerful. Yeah. Now, recently, you came out with a soft cover of probably lit, pub, pub, <laughs> Mom, my mouth broke. <laughs> I got to fix it. Publication of your ebook entitled How to, Term, uh, How to Terminate Stress with meditation strategies. Mm -hmm. Where can they go to get more information on that? And you oh, want to show yes. them the book. I think that is a fantastic oh, book. This is the book. How to Terminate Stress yeah. with Meditation Strategies. Yeah, and That's it, fantastic. It's really funny. If you look at the picture on it, yes. you have somebody meditating and somebody on a laptop. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so g give us a well, give us something first of all, from the where book, you would look you know. for it is on my website. Okay, you know, among the other ebooks and other books that I have out. Right, and I find that most situations are caused by stress. You know, health issues, relationship issues. Most of them are really caused by stress. So if you know how to get rid of the stress in that particular area, it will automatically improve G your give, life. Give give my so, viewers something on how to get rid of stress. Okay. Right now, well, as an example, show, okay. tell as them an something. example, first of all, with the book, it explains meditation in the beginning and how to use it. At the mm -hmm. end, it has herbs and gemstones and other mm. things. But in between each separate meditation is for a specific reason, such yes. as um, if you lost a loved one or if you're job hunting, or if you're looking for relationship or health, mm -hmm. so each one is different. Right. What you can do on your own is take a few really, really slow deep breaths because when you're breathing slowly, you automatically go into the alpha state, which yes. is the meditation state and yes. the psychic state. Oh, yeah. So you actually move into the alpha theta level. So if you don't meditate, then you take a few uh, deep breaths, which automatically will relax your muscles. When your muscles are relaxed, you can't possibly be that stressed. So actually, slow breathing is a method all on its own that you oh can yeah. do. And I find, I'm sorry, I find oh that you need at least three slow deep breaths for it to work. If you do less, it doesn't. If you do more, it's fine. That's wonderful. One yeah. of the things that I have my students do right away as a regime mm -hmm. for de-stressing is I have them uh, purchase either ginger crystals or the ginger root from, let's say, a fruit store, spice it up, throw it into a bath, mm -hmm. uh, make the, war the water kind of temperate, you know, warm, as right. warm as I can tolerate it, light a uh, white candle, and just relax. See, see the whole thing in the white light. And oh, that's what wonderful. the ginger root does is it relaxes all their muscles, which goes into exactly what you're talking about. And I, th I tell them, in a relaxed state, you can get messages, you can get anything you want. Yes. You, you use the pink light of love and that will bring the love to you. You cleanse the situation with the emerald green light and that will cleanse it. So what you're saying is in relaxation and by reading your book, you learn to get rid of and de-stress yourself and then you can change your life. Right, you can get so rid of all the negative energy and right. what's stressing you. And I find, as I'm sure you do, 
that when you change your mindset, mm -hmm. you know, which is what meditation helps you do, when you're changing your mindset and the way you look at things also, it brings in different vibrations. So you're magnetizing yourself to bring positive things into your life. And Absolutely. that's what this does. See, what people don't understand is that they'll come in to see me and say, I have to have this, and I have to get a job, and I have to, I have to get a boyfriend, or I have to get a girlfriend. And I said, well, first of all, you don't have to do anything. What you have to do is take some deep breaths. I meditate them. I have them clean themselves out through mm -hmm. letting light into the top of their head, and I relax them. So you and I are on the same wavelength oh, that definitely. way. Definitely. <laughs> Once they're relaxed, all of a sudden they realize they don't have to anything, and they feel very peaceful. And they realize that in relaxation, there's nothing in the world that you can't have if you're peaceful. It's through peace that you can have the world at your feet. And people don't understand that. I think once they start working with the methods that you and I use, yes. then they'll see it more because they're actually living through it rather than reading about it. Right. The, now, on what levels do you That's approach specific. your coaching? That's what, you know, like it's, a, it's an interesting thing. So uh, what level are you approaching this coaching? Well, uh, it's a combination of different things, as I was saying before, between the psychic, the metaphysical, and the realistic point of view from mundane society. A lot of people levels. might say, what is metaphysical? Okay. So, metaphysical you know. is understanding the laws of nature to work with them to create situations. So you're creating abundance in all areas of your life by bringing in positive things to your life and canceling out negative things and things that block you. Right. Um, as an example, I had a gentleman where he was in school and when he was in school, his teacher told him that you know, he was really, really horrendous in math and he was terrible at it and it was really blocking him. Now, if he didn't have that, he could have actually gotten a job in an area such as uh, the sciences or mathematics. Oh, absolutely. But he had to get rid of that block first, and mm -hmm. all of us have something. You know, it's so you because are, of the people right. we grow up with. Right, so you are what you think. That's what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. If you, if, you, if you have a negative thought and you believe it, you'll create that's it. What you, right, you're putting exactly. it out. If you say, I, I know that, you know, I'm never going to find love. You know what? You're never going to find love. But if you exactly. say, um, universe, bring me the person that I deserve. Thank you very much. Go on your merry way. That person will just very gently come right into your life. Now, how yes. important is goal setting? Oh, it's extremely important. Why? If you don't have a goal, you're never going to get anywhere. You don't have the momentum. You don't have the motivation. You don't have the initiative to move on it. And if you look at Anybody that's successful in their personal or their business life, absolutely, every one of them has have that. a vision. Exactly, and once have you a have a goal, then you can decide how you want to work with it. You can manifest it. You need to work on both realities, and I can help people do that. That's great. You know, and you really need to create what you want in your life. Yes, what so. I'm, you know, over and over again, and you and I are doing the same thing. Yes, and I'm sure there are many other people that are. Mm -hmm is we need people to understand that you they are the power. Their yes. thoughts are powerful. Their thoughts create their entire life. If you wake up in the morning and say, I'm a loser, you're a loser. If you mm -hmm. say, I can have anything I want in the world, if I want a Mercedes, I want a Rolls Royce, I can have it. I was reading a story about Simon Cowell, you know, from American mm -hmm. Idol. He went down to $2. How did he do that years ago? He kept buying everything on credit cards. Mm -hmm. And he was like piled in debt. Then he decided, I want to be absolutely filthy rich. So he paid off all his debts. He never bought anything after that without cash. Mm -hmm. Okay, unless it was credit card for maybe $50 or 300 You know, it was like small little things, yeah. which he knew he was going to pay like when the bill came right in. And now the man is worth about three hundred million dollars. <laughs> but that's how he did it. It's he very set powerful. a goal. Oh, it, it. My viewers need to understand that you guys are the power. You can have anything you want, and they can, they'll yeah. call me up and say, Alexandra, I can't get what I want. They don't understand that they're telling themselves they can't get what they want. So they're creating it. And the other thing right. that I find too is, especially now with the global transition, everybody's going through personal transition as well. 
Yes. So I find that with the spiritual life coaching, it helps people get direction in what they can do, what they should do that works very well for them, what they should stay away from, because sometimes you have to know when not to do something. Oh, yes. And then to create the positive situation, as you were saying, so that they can create their own reality. Now, you have a whole collection here of books oh, yeah. and tapes. 